Joining me now is Nick Cannon. You get a lot raunchier than that. I do. It goes. I mean, I'm, I appreciate you for watching it. Too, man. That's love. It's good. I, I love watching stand up, and I sometimes I take a long ride to go <laughs> when I'm traveling. And right, I right, right. I play stand up on. on um, I won't say which <laughs> which network or whatever. We're going to talk about your Showtime special, Stand Up, Don't Shoot. Yeah. But can we talk about some politics? and, and Absolutely. I mean, that's what I talk happening? about in, uh, in my stand-up special. It's a lot of social commentary, and, you know, I truly believe it's a comedian's duty to, you know, hold society's mirror up and tell, show them the truth. You mentioned the, the new president. Did you ever I think did. he would be president? Uh, you know what? Uh, you know me. I was one of those guys that I was like, pick your oppressor. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wasn't rooting for either one of them, and I feel like it's a, all ran by some secret society anyway. <laughs> so so you, didn't vote, you didn't vote for Hillary Clinton either? I didn't. You know what I mean? I didn't vote for either one of those. I actually did exercise my right to vote, uh, but I wasn't, you know, I was an advocate out there. It was like, man, local voting and being about community is way more important than the personality that's in the White House. Now, I definitely don't agree with the personality that's in the White House. I would have loved for my daughter to be able to see a woman in the White House. All right, so then, all right, but you said you didn't vote for her. I'm just I didn't asking, because you're I, cause there's a lot of things that she stands for uh, right. that I don't agree with. Who would you rather have right now, though? I like, to me, it doesn't matter. It's like what W.E.B. Du Bois said, you know? It's like, there's no such thing as two parties, just one evil party with two names. <laughs> That's real. You think that this this current climate, I mean, is it, it's fertile ground for comedians, right? Because I hear comedians perfect. are getting off on it's this. It's perfect, from SNL to my special, like, we get to talk about it all. And, I mean, that's the, that's the silver lining in the cloud, is that, you know, again, we get to say, Hey, we know it's a lot of <laughs> indifference going on, but like at least let's try to make light of it, and and that brings the healing. You do you think that it's um, you, so you don't see that difference in with this new administration of things? You know what it is. Work? This is different, and I'll call call it what it is. I've talked about this in my special. Like Trump's a bully. He's a dude that like, he's been bullying. That's like his whole life. That's what uh, The Apprentice was all about. He was a bully on reality TV. He's a bully on Twitter. Like he's like he's a guy like I'm gonna beat you up after school at three o'clock and tell everybody <laughs> let's meet there. Like so I feel like all of these things would still be going on except for he's tweeting about it. Yeah. He's boasting about it. He's sticking his chest out saying I'm gonna do what I wanted but you also I thought it was funny because you also talk about uh, in your special where you say you know you talk about white people you're like <laughs> they're feeling themselves now oh, they they're back they back. back. <laughs> they like, what do you mean by that well now because I always say like it, it's and it's so true when Obama was the president we was out there celebrating having a good hey. time soul train lines <laughs> and you know white people was a little quiet they loud again they doing they dances fist pumping and stuff so it's all it's all jokes but there is some seriousness to the idea to where there's a certain, you know, that, that white nationalist type I, idea that comes out that was hidden for a while has, has been revealed in such a way. But I feel like it's a great time in this country. It, it's, it's very reminiscent of the civil rights movement because people are so passionate and so on edge on both sides that you got to deal with it. You got to, it has to come to a head. I mean, hence to all of the protests and, every, and the movements that we see happen. Black Lives Matter is yes. an issue that's close to you, big issue for you. So important. Do you think that celebrities, well, and these are just every day people who are, who are out on the streets and who got together yeah. for this issue. Do you think that, um, well, first talk to me about that, and then I'm going to ask you about celebrities. Yeah, well, uh, to me, I, I feel like we, we got to have movements and not moments. And that's why I, I wholeheartedly supported <clears throat> the Black Lives Matter movement. And what it, you know. there's the, a Black Lives Matter sign behind you on yeah, stage. Yeah, absolutely, because I was there. I was at as many marches as that I could actually make. And, that, and you see at the beginning, the cold open, it shows me, you know, in the trenches from New York to St. Louis to D.C. I was all over the place. Uh, and ultimately, it's really about reconditioning the mindsets of our community. And I say this in the special quite clearly, like, because the, the, the media, <laughs> like, wanted to, to turn it and make it seem like we Before were saying it, only, yeah. only Black Lives Matter. But we were saying Black Lives Matter, too. Two, right. You know what I mean? It's like when we say save the whales, that don't mean forget all the other fish in the ocean. It's like the whales need saving. They're in danger. But do you think it, time, it, it takes time for a lot of, for everyone to come around, like, Every even the civil rights movement was probably messy in the beginning, right? Absolutely. And people didn't. I mean, they consider Martin Luther King uh, a terrorist threat. Yeah. So now let's talk about celebrity. Do you think that it's important to, for celebrities to use their platform, or for you to use your platform? With uh, you know, I come from the school of of my mentors like Dick Gregory. 
uh, who's in the special as well, uh, Harry Belafonte. Dick Gregory does not play around. When he comes, I'm like, I don't know what he's going to he say. He's going to go somewhere. <laughs> but even in like, and even yeah. Mr. Belafonte, who, who taught me a lot and, and actually said he's passing me the baton in that sense to where when you can take the money that we earn as well as the, the influence that we have and shine that light on things that really matter, specifically in our community, that's what we should do. Our opinions, everybody has opinion now. Twitter, you, we see it, everybody has an opinion, but what I don't <coughs> think is important, I think is actually going in the wrong direction is when like the administration is meeting with celebrities, yeah. especially in our African-American community. Yeah. Like it's like, you, you got them, they meet, you know, Trump wanna meet with, with uh, Steve Harvey and everybody and like- Are you going over Trump Tower after this? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, like, you want to meet with Kanye West? No, meet with Cornell West. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, right. we have a lot of social scientists and stuff, but it shows with how they perceive us. Like, they want to meet with celebrities opposed to people that can actually really But make these are it. issues that you should know that he talks about in this special. He Absolutely. talks about everything. New comedy special, it's called Stand Up, Don't Shoot. Yeah. Premier Showtime this Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern.